everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swishing and Reviewing GS. This is Goldman Sachs. This is one of the puts that I called last week. And you know, one, um, gosh, look how, look at this. Let's see how this exactly close. Let me just look at this whole thing here now. I definitely, my perspective, okay, on what's happening here is that the the banks are sliding like like a slippery slippery water slide it's a slippery slope here for the banks ever since really the sell-off from december the banks have not recovered at least not all of them have recovered and goldman is one of them okay so had this big move here this was at one point january of the year but really i mean look at where it's at right now it really never went anywhere with this this rally never really went anywhere it never went anywhere substantial. I mean, we barely got over 200. In fact, let me just look and see what this previous high was over here. We didn't get over 210. Now, again, I, I, you could have day traded some days in there and gone long, but overall, I mean, this chart to me does not look good. And when you have selling and the banks falling and falling off a cliff, what do you think is gonna happen with the overall market? Very difficult for the overall market to make brand new all-time highs with the banks falling. And Goldman is a leading bank. So this looks lower to me. And I did call put in it. It was a nice call from last week. You could have got out. You could still be in it. Really, really, really nice call. 185 puts. And look where this closed on Friday. Through the strike, two and a half bucks. And, and you know, again, we'll see where this really ends up going this week. But I'm not saying that's why. I'm looking at the market in, in a certain way, but I'm saying it just gives me more conviction. When I see these banks like a slippery slide, like a water slide, and then you see the market, you say, well, how can the, how can the market make new highs when you don't have banks uh, doing anything but selling off? And that's what's really been happening here. So we'll see where this chart goes. I will be watching it into the upcoming week, and I will be watching the market as well. Good luck, everyone. The next Golden Gap course is June 8th and 9th next weekend. You do not want to miss it. Particularly in these times, it's very important to know what to do. It is always important to know what to do. But right now in this environment, people are getting killed or they're making buck, okay? So people are really, really, really making a lot of money in the market or they are losing a lot. So, I mean, this past month, and particularly this past week, was really huge, okay? So you need to be booking it, 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 okay? That's what I tell people. Book your profits. Book them, book them, book them. Book the bucks, okay? And as far as huge moves, there, there will be huge moves, which we're just going to get. And they're just going to fall into our laps. You never know when that happens. It could happen with this one. Um, but if you got out of this with profit already, very good. Not a problem. Nice move on here. This was one of the puts that I call the options letter. And we'll see where we will go from here. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the class next weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com.